I'm here with Ken Haycock and we're going to speak about delegations. So you've been an elected member of a school board, an elected member of city council. So you've been at the receiving end of a lot of advocacy on the part of delegations. What was that experience like? Basically not a very happy one because delegations don't understand that they need to approach the target, the elected officials, in a positive, constructive manner. And usually when they appear as a delegation, they're mad about something. They're mad about a proposal. They're mad about a decision. They're just angry because we're in the annual budget setting process. And so they come across as uh, sometimes hostile, more so on the school board, actually, than on council even. Um, delegates should not appear cold for the first time, and I don't mean cold in their demeanor, but you should know who they are, there should be a relationship with them, you should want to hear what they're talking about. Um, it seems to me that usually a delegation should have had uh, some kind of prior connection with the council or school board members, they should have developed a relationship, they um, should understand that time is precious, if they've got 10 minutes they don't have to read their presentation because we received it previously, they should uh, stick to their talking points and be open to questions, but generally they appear hostile, they want to tell you you're stupid, <clears throat> you don't care about their constituents, you make bad decisions, who elected you anyway, if you don't decide the way I want you to decide, I won't vote for you. <clears throat> Frankly, who cares, it's obvious they never voted for you in the first place by the way they're talking to you. So I think that uh, it's, it's got to be about relationship building, it's got to be about connecting agendas, it's got to be about making the case. It isn't about insulting the people who hold the purse strings. It's not about insulting the people who have the power. That does not get you anywhere. And so delegations can be positive if they're making deposits. If we draw the analogy to banking, delegations should be making deposits. They should be talking about the wonderful things they're doing with the funds that were made available and how they're making the quality of experiences that people in our community are having much better. Um, that's building rapport, that's making deposits. And then when you want to make a withdrawal around budget time or talk about the impact, the negative impact of possible cuts or anything like that, at least there's a relationship, there's understanding, you've made those deposits that you can draw on. But to come cold when you've never made a deposit, there's no money in the bank, there's no reservoir. And so sometimes it's a bit self-defeating and that's unfortunate because obviously people have put time and thought into what they're going to do. It's just a very negative rather than positive. I'm not being Pollyanna-ish here, it's just a better, building a better level of understanding so the councillor or school board member can make a better decision uh, because it's all about choices as to where you're going to invest your resources. Great, those are some really helpful tips that I think seem obvious but to a lot of people it's hard to put into practice.